Mighty Mighty Melksham? I think so. It's been mighty since the day it was founded, the 11th century. Its market was known by people all around Wiltshire. It sold food, tools, resourcing and clothing, and it still does. Over the years, Melksham has grown in size, population and popularity. I would say it's a lovely town, with lovely people in it, but I'd be lying. Most of the people are nice, but most of them are absolute drug addicts. Do you briefly want to know what Melksham is? OK, here we go. Melksham, a drug, drunken, aggressive, knife-stabbing, chavvy, smokeholic town. No, I'm only joking. It's not as bad as it sounds, but if you were to sum up all the bad things, that's what it would be. Melksham, a historic marking town which has been very popular for many years. But what is happening for the young people of Melksham today? All businesses going down and new ones coming up, then goes round in that cycle. The worst thing about Melksham when you drive in and get welcomed by the disgusting Avon building. Don't even get me started on the youth of Melksham. Disrespectful, unmannered delinquents. A lot of them. They have no respect for anyone or anything. Going around at God knows what hours causing trouble, if only their parents knew. Drug raids, about four of them each month. Drug addicts with their vile habits. I have no idea if they were brought up or dragged up. By the sounds of things, dragged up. Mighty, mighty Melksham. Or should I say, useless and boring Melksham. Really? Yes. There's plenty of charity shops. But what really is there for people my age? And let's not forget Melksham Oak Community School, a state-of-the-art school with positive, supporting teachers. With their help and support, 67% A star to C pass rate, including core subjects such as English and Maths. 50 cent got A star to C overall. This is thanks to the amazing state-of-the-art technology from the government replacing the George Ward School that had so many memories for so many locals. Melksham, a small town surrounded by a beautiful countryside, known for our farmer-like accents and our high standard schools. Melksham may not be the biggest town with the best shops, but it is my town and that's why I love it. It may consist of pointless shops, graffiti and scary looking youths that sit on walls and smoke, but the town also has beautiful houses and a stunning scenery with natural beauty. In Melksham, we may have enough takeaways to feed a country and way too many salons and beauty shops. But Mel Melksham do love their overpriced processed food and their expensive haircuts. So I guess that's just what makes Melksham, well, Melksham. Is Melksham nice? It's a beast. At least I think so. I think that Melksham has got to be the best place to live in Wiltshire. Melksham is in the centre of Wiltshire, meaning it will be well noticed. I've been living here my entire life and plan to stay here for as long as I live. Melksham, where I live, where my family lives, where all my friends live. Melksham has grown a lot over the years. More shops, more people, more memories. But Melksham has got all the necessities of a great town and a brand new school to educate the youths of Melksham. Most importantly, Melksham makes memories. Memories for everyone. Memories that will last forever. Melksham. It may have some flaws, it's old, run down, and it doesn't always get the funding it requires. Nonetheless, it is historic. There has been a dwelling here since the 1100s. Now, not many towns in the entire world can say that. Next, I'd like to mention our fantastic new school. Being one of the newest in the country, it has brilliant learning facilities and exceptional teachers. In my opinion, there is no better school to gain your education. Last year, our results were fantastic with over 50% of English and Maths students achieving C to A star in, in their subjects. Furthermore, GCSE English students has a 67% pass rate. Now if it's history you're after, there's plenty in Melksham. Did you know it was a Royal Air Force base? This small, humble and gracious town trained the heroes of our future. The heroes who fought and sadly had to lay down their lives for our safety. Something so spectacular, I think it will never be forgotten. However, if you're not interested in warfare, there is beautiful scenery and more importantly, Lake Oak Abbey. As I'm sure you all know, Daniel Radcliffe was filmed there for the series Harry Potter. Dumbledore was walking down the street. He was collecting the light before he delivered the baby Harry. This was Lake Oak. Surely you would walk with friends and family down the very same street that Dumbledore did. But more importantly, it's my hometown. And yours for that matter. So. It's our responsibility to guard, watch, but more importantly, cherish it for years to come. Thank you, and have a safe day.